I've played video games and often when I've seen the characters either in cartoon form or later seen the complete game, at the end of the day what you've got in front of you is something that is almost, it's cartoon. And so although we've given it a very real voice and often the animation is very impressive, it still feels like something that was created to watch. With this, you're create, it's created to experience. So you dive into the game and it's really very impressive and almost breathtaking how you are pulled in to that. And I can only imagine then with the characters and the interaction that you really feel like you're there. So what's always interesting with this job is, as a speaker, you get a script. But as you read the script, of course, the other parts aren't there. And so what you have to do basically is read the script, hear the voices of the others, and then with your own voice respond naturally as if you just reacted to the thing you just read. Um, it's very difficult in the sense that if you're on a stage or in front of a camera, you have that person there, you have their energy, their emotion, and their words to react to. In a studio, you've actually just got the voice in your head and you've got the information from the director. So reacting spontaneously, angry, annoyed, irritated, loving, caring, panicked to what somebody else hasn't just said is as an actress, actually, more than as a speaker, quite a challenge. I was trained as an actor. I've been acting since I was, I don't know, six, seven, eight years old. And um, a lot of roles you have to learn like that. You learn them in, you don't learn them in, in sequence necessarily, you learn them in chunks. And when you do television work, it's much the same thing. So the development of character is something you have to presume and assume as the, uh, as the story progresses. With games, there's a slightly different uh, uh, situation because games are not necessarily linear. So um, I'm quite used to um, doing that kind of, uh, or having that kind of interpretation in a game where you can imagine that you're in different situations, you can imagine you're on different missions, and so um, you have to find yourself in that moment, um, which I don't find much of a challenge, I quite enjoy it. We all hear ourselves differently to how other people hear us, and even as an actress, I'll say a line and be quite convinced that I've got the right tone, the right level of sarcasm in there, but the director hears just the voice. Even at the camera, I'm actually acting, I'm doing all the faces and everything. And I think it's in there and it's not always. The director hears it and can give me that little note that it just needs to go a step further or pull it a step back. So we get exactly the right intonation for the role. Um, it's, it's almost impossible to do it without that direction. Um, so it's a very close work. Um, there's the director, but there's also someone listening for whether each word is clean, well pronounced, within the requirements of the role. And so everyone's listening and concentrating very hard. It's quite an intimate work, but it's very satis satisfying when you then get through the take and everyone in the room says, yeah, that's, that's good, that'll really work. Was ich besonders interessant finde an der Sache ist natürlich, dass wir jetzt hier für eine ganz neue Plattform arbeiten, nämlich für diese Virtual Reality Sache. Das ist für uns auch mal eine ganz neue Erfahrung. Wir haben uns die Sachen auch schon vorher angeschaut und man kriegt irgendwie auch für die Sprache so einen ganz anderen Eindruck davon. Ich will fast sagen, es, äh, man möchte die Sprache sofort auch in 3D aufnehmen. Und das fand ich eine besondere Herausforderung. Weiterhin ist es äh, wirklich ein storylastiges Ding, was für uns immer ganz schön ist, weil wir ja doch auch manchmal wochenlang nur Schreie aufnehmen und dann ist es natürlich ganz schön, wenn man auch mal wieder schöne, echte, gute Dialoge hat. This is the first time, I have to be honest, this is the first time I've done a recording where not only have I been shown um, some of the material from the game as a speaker, often you get very little. You maybe get a few pictures, but it's all on paper. This is the first time I've not only um, been offered to experience the game, but also 
it's a 3D game. So this was the first time as a speaker I'd actually put on the headset and looked into the game. And I have to say I was really quite um, in awe at the first images. And it gave me a feel that really did help me about where this girl is living, in what world she moves, and how far removed it is from anything we know, and how exciting and so almost real that's going to be for the player. The VR aspect of it obviously adds uh, a new dimension and I it thoroughly actually enjoyed um, the sense of, of, it was almost like flying. So I would not have had that in a, in a 2D, on a PC or a monitor, that kind of thing. I would not have had the same sensation. And it's nice to be able to look around and, you know, you, you, you see different things as you turn your head. You're obviously, you, you're seeing different aspects of, of the world in which you're engaging uh, with other things. And I, I really enjoyed that. That's something I like very much. What was really nice about this one was having one role that I could really get into. Quite often I turn up and actually I'm speaking 10 roles, where the voice has to be different for each one. It's a different challenge. This one was far more satisfying because I could really then get to grips with this character and give her my voice. But um, the, doing voices for games is challenging because the script is also not necessarily in the order that the film or the game runs. So you jump from scene to scene in the way you would in a, in a film, but you don't have the new set and you don't have the new context to go with it. Um, I like that challenge. I like the fact that as a speaker, my, my skill as an actress is key. Ich habe äh, mir ja die äh, Brille auch aufgesetzt und habe mir die Sachen angeguckt. Das ist natürlich auf der einen Seite wahnsinnig beeindruckend, wie die Bilder da wirken, wie man auch sehr schnell dort eintaucht. Also es ist ein ganz anderes Gefühl. Es ist alles viel intensiver und das stimmt einen eigentlich auch ganz gut ein auf äh, die Art und Weise, wie man die Sprachaufnahme äh, angeht. Also es war für mich auch wirklich neu und echt super. Also ich habe noch keine, aber <lacht> ich werde mir wohl eine kaufen, glaube ich. Ich hoffe, euch gefällt Space Rift genauso gut wie uns. Für weitere Informationen und Feedback geht einfach auf www.spacerift-thegame.com. Space Rift. Available Summer 2016 for PC and all major VR headsets. <lacht>